How's it going guys? Voice of Reason back for, you guessed it, another video game review. And I believe this is my first actual video game review for the year 2010. And to everyone's surprise, I haven't reviewed a video game on this next-gen console in exactly six months. And that was on the Wii and that was for the punch out a great game you should go pick it up right now anyways i'm going to be doing a review on the well practically it came out of nowhere and uh, it's for the nintendo wii exclusively for the nintendo wii and that is the new crossover fighting game i love saying the name tatsunoko versus capcom yeah <laughs> Now, before we get into all the good stuff, I just want to do a little very brief background on Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. As I mentioned before, it is exclusive to the Nintendo Wii, and it is a crossover 2D fighting game. It's published by Capcom, and since a lot of people know about this Versus series, this is actually the seventh installment of Capcom's Versus series. Uh, this Versus series also includes probably one of the best fighting games of all time, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 as well as Capcom vs. SNK, and have have here holding in my hand an old copy of Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. So Capcom has been doing this Versus series for quite a long time, and I would think the majority of you guys right now uh, would agree with me when I'd say the last best game to come out of this Versus series was, and still is, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So the question before us right now is if this new versus series game, Tatsunoko versus Capcom, Ultimate All-Stars, we want the whole uh, title. Is it worthy enough? Well, we're about to find that out right now. Now normally I start talking about the plot first, but considering this is a fighting game, the plot's going to be running a little bit dry, So, and that's nothing to be worried about. Um, it's a fighting game, don't worry about it, so let's get right into the gameplay. Now when thinking a fighting game, the most important aspect of a fighting game is going to be the gameplay. And for Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, it's going to be a, li a little bit of a bad thing and a good thing for veteran uh, gamers, especially for the Versus series. I would assume that the majority of the people watching your this review right now are going to be past Versus series uh, players. Now, you got to remember this is for the Nintendo Wii. And when you look at the Wiimote, the Wiimote doesn't really have as many buttons as, say, the PS3 controller or the Xbox 360 controller. This kind of comes into play when playing <laughs> Capcom and Tatsunoko. Um, one of the things that you're going to fi first find out when starting to play is that you have three buttons. And that's it, guys. Um, there is, of course, a lower, medium, and high. That's it. There are no kicks, and there are no punches. Keep in mind, this is going off of the Wiimote, the GameCube uh, controller, and I believe also the Classic controller. That's all they have, guys. Now, there is a joystick, a fight stick out there, but that's for a later time. A lot of people, when they first pick it up, are going to be kind of discouraged by, th by this, and that's going to be mostly uh, experienced gamers. A lot of the stuff that's going to be coming into play here are going to be casual gamers. This is very, very easily to pick up. Um, especially for people who've never played a versus title before and it works so for some weird reason it works the simplicity of it compared to the outrageous chaotic images going on the screen I don't know how they did it but it really works um, again it's gonna be kind of hard for expert gamers to pick up and start getting into it because it might be a little bit too easy However, when you start going into the whole dynamic of the gameplay series, the combos, the techniques, it is a fairly deep game and probably one of the best uh, new tournament games out there right now. So when you look at it, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom has a wide range variety of ways to play it as well as techniques. You can play it the very button smash way and you'll still be able to win and pull off some major combos here and there. Or you can play the technique, skilled, uh, expert gamer way. And of course, you'd be probably using the fight stick or some other type of uh, cool D-pad. And I just think when looking at it like that, you know, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, with tight controls, depending on how you play it, um, and very, very well-balanced uh, gameplay and character profiles, I think the gameplay extremely does well in here. And it is probably on par with Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and 
do I dare say it, maybe a little bit more higher, maybe a little bit more complex slash simplified that makes it so, so good and it makes it so much fun and addicting to play too. Now let's talk about the graphics. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't really, really played a Wii title since Punch-Out. Since then I've been playing Call of Duty, Halo ODST, Uncharted 2, so going into this and remembering, I, I hate to say, but the limitations in terms of visuals of the Nintendo Wii, it kind of caught me off guard. However, and I started playing it, I went into it with a blank slate, with an open mind, and when it comes down to it, guys, this is probably one of the most chaotic, one of the most bright, one of the most action-packed fighting games that we have in this next-gen uh, next console right now and Tatsunoko vs. Capcom with a unique art style. Maybe it's because it's direct from Japan that makes it so uh, eye candy. Um, I almost had a seizure maybe about four or five times the first playthrough because all the, the lights were coming at me. And when, when you really look at it like that, uh, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom is a great looking game. And it's great and combine that with the gameplay elements it's a great action-packed fighting game. I, I loved it. And, it, and just because it's a little pixelate doesn't mean anything at all. It's still bright, and the frame rate never slows down, which is a must in any action fighting game. So who needs HD visuals when you have the quality that the Tatsunoko vs. Capcom series brings to the table? I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> You know, one other thing I wanted to talk about before heading out was the online, uh, the Wi-Fi connection. And um, I hate saying this, I always catch myself saying it though, but because it's a uh, Wii game, we all know how Wii has in terms of the Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, case in point, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Not the best online multiplayer game, fighting game, but it gets the job done, I guess. Um, however, Tatsunoko isn't as different as that and it's a good thing um, as you guys see right now I went online I played a couple of rounds and from what I've experienced so far obviously my experience is going to differ from yours but from what I experienced um, it was pretty smooth and I would say maybe about one out of eight online games had some type of lag not major lag like Super Smash Bros lag but a, a nice little subtle lag, enough to complete the whole entire match. So overall, I was very impressed with the online considering the background that Nintendo has in terms of Wi-Fi connectivity. So good job, Nintendo. You know, keep in mind that Tatsunoko vs. Capcom packs so much other content that, I mean, it's it's a shame I'm not going to get into right now, but I mean, it, it, it has so much more. It has a shop that you can buy stuff that you earned. You can buy uh, trailers, you can buy outfits, you can buy whatever you want. Um, there's also some mini uh, retro cool mini games out there as well. If there was someone to ask me what is so bad, what is, what do you not like about Tatsunoko vs. Capcom? Um, first off, it's going to be the controller. Um, the Wii isn't exactly the best controller for a fighting game. Neither is the D-pad on the GameCube. Uh, my thumb is like peeling off. You know, and not everyone's going to afford and not everyone's going to want a fight stick. So I guess the limitations of the controller are a little downside. And maybe the roster, maybe. Uh, a lot of people are complaining that they don't know half the roster. But, you know, I see it as an opportunity to learn new moves with new characters that you've never seen before. And, hell, you might even start loving the new character that you like and you'll start to do research start watching the old Tatsunoko videos or animes and yeah I think it's a great opportunity to spread the word how variety that the Japan culture has to offer in terms of fighting games so in terms of the roster I, I, I can see people complain but in, when it comes down to it there is no reason for you to complain you should be actually be grateful that new characters are here to stay too. So overall, guys, um, I'm, I'm about to go on my time limit. I wanted this review to be less than seven minutes, but because this game packs so much content and the quality of this game is just superb, um, this is, I'll say right now, is going to be one of the best fighting games to compete with in the year 2010. And I know there's Super Street Fighter 4 coming out uh, next month or in two months from now, but still, this is probably a must-have for any Wii game, uh, especially if you love fighting games, especially if you're a casual fighting gamer or even an expert fighting gamer. This is it. Go buy it now. Have fun. And uh, yes, I believe it is on par with Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and because of the variety it packs, I think it's a little bit more 
better than Marvel vs. Capcom 2. There, I said it. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Anywho, till next time, guys. Take care. Have fun. See you later.